I'm going to take you on a tour of our facility here, where we'll be making a continuous arm Windsor chair. Windsor chairs date back to the 1600s. They came over to this country about 1750 or so. What we do here at Warren Chair Works is make 18th century reproduction Windsor chairs, and we've been doing it for 31 years now. We start off with a two inch thick piece of pine for the seat. The pattern for this seat I got from an old chair that I was able to pattern out. It dated back to about 1770. I was able to get all the measurements off of that to make my first Windsor chair, which was a continuous arm Windsor chair. That's what we will be making today. The way we do it downstairs is every part is sized and fitted precisely. What that means is you end up with a chair that you really can't go to a furniture store and buy. This is a seat for a continuous arm Windsor chair. Originally, this seat would have been formed using hand tools. We do things a little bit differently here. We use grinders and sanders, but we achieve the same results. We get the seat depth by drilling a 3 8 hole, and we take the seat down to that by scooping it that way. It's all done by eye. stick chairs because every piece that goes into a Windsor chair starts at the seat. You have sticks coming up the legs and you have sticks coming down the spindles. Here we are in the steam room and the guys have been steaming the white oak pieces to be bent uh, for about an hour. What they're doing right now is they're bending a continuous arm to go on our chair that we'll be making today. They, it takes two guys and they have one minute to get this piece of white oak bent around the bending frame. You can see what they're doing now is clamping it in shape. The next thing that they'll have to do is just let it sit for about 10 days and then it will be dry enough to take off the bending frame and it will hold its shape. Now we're going to watch JC carve a knuckle. This is all hand carved as you can see. We at Warren Chairwork still pride ourselves on doing a lot of handwork to our chairs. Here he's carving a talon into the side of the knuckle.
We make our chairs the same way they were made in the 1800s. No nails, no screws. Strictly glue and wedges to hold everything together. People who come up to the showroom to look around find 18th century craftsmanship at its very, very best. We use a lot of milk paints. It's a very traditional finish and one of our customers' favorites. It has to be brushed on, cannot be sprayed. It's thick, sort of a globby paint, but it's very traditional and was used back in the 1800s. After our milk paints have been rubbed through, the final step will be coating it with lacquer. What this does, it seals everything in and gives a nice low luster finish to the piece. We at Warren Chairworks encourage you to come by, take a stroll through the showroom, and even a tour downstairs in the shop. Warren Chairworks, handmade in Warren, Rhode Island.